a simple guide for adding the GPX files that I've emailed you to your TomTom Start 52. First of all, you need to plug the USB cable into your PC and then into the back of your sat-nav. Once you've done that, sat-nav will start. Now you need to um, get the TomTom Start, the TomTom My Drive program on your PC. Now I've got it loaded oh, as one of my start keys on the top. But if you just type in TomTom My Drive, oh, it's already there. Click on TomTom My Drive. There's a map. And log in. Boop, boop, boop. On this, it should show you all of the sat nav routes that you've already got programmed in. As you see on this one, I've got quite a few. Da, 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 da. Cover quite a large area. But to import more onto your which will automatically go onto your sat nav. Click import a GPX file. Doo -doo -doo. Select file. And when you get the email, save all of your the GPX files onto a directory on your PC. So I've already got mine set up as GPX files. So if you look through the files we've got. So I'm going to add a Sunderland GPX file. Do -do, find one that I haven't already got on there. Um, do -do -do, that one. So double click on it. It automatically will add it onto your drive. Now you've got to find it. Da -da -da. Uh, can't remember where it is. It'll be in there somewhere. Once you find it, doo -doo, we'll just pick on anyone. Once you find it, click on it. Now it'll tell you what the route is. Now you want to edit the name of it. So we'll just call this route sample one. The best thing you do when you're downloading these, if it hasn't already got a name assigned to it, you want to kind of give you an idea when you're dialing the thing up on your sat nav where you're actually going. So this one starts at the test center, goes around, crosses the bridge, comes around, end up going back to the test center. Save it. Once you've saved it, click on sync this route as a track with my devices and that's basically all you need to do the next time you log out and log in to that route it will be on your sat nav if the sat nav still plugged in that's basically it um, you can share the route if you can down download it as a GPX if you want to share it to another member so basically Click download. It downloads it is sample file. Show in folder. There it is there. And if you want to move that into your sat nav files or whichever directory, or you can just simply right click that and paste it into an email. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Do enjoy.